guys, it's Darth Chicken Gaming. Today I am going to be reviewing the Billy Cops. Alright, these hats. <laughs> Billy Cox. Right. Fucking hell, that's late. Oh yeah, I forgot I have a robotic one. So, alright, these are all the effects. We got about... 14 of them, so let's go and review all the 14s. Ooh. Ooh, um, let me check this one out. This one looks Slap good. Frick it. Oh. Oh, um, I, uh, peace sign looks alright, but no, it just does not go, um, it just does not go with the loadout. Come on. What is up with the peace sign, man? Alright, that's rude. Alright, next one. Next one is... <laughs> it looks alright when yellow, actually. Let me actually do... Fucking hell. That actually looks good if I just... Oh my god. There's finally a hat that makes TF2 logo look good. What kind of hat does that? That's amazing. I like tier 2 logo now. No. Oh yeah, um, this is a quick. Um, I'm in my. I'm in the Slender Fortress. Um, if you play Slender Fortress, be careful. I I do warn you. If you have footprint spells, do not use it in Slam Fortress. Everyone can follow you to lure the monster to you, which they're son of a bitches to, but they kind of have to for survival. So, sorry, that that is actually a warning. Um, I believe something just. Oh, God. I don't know where the fuck the boss is, and I'm pretty sure someone's calling me on Skype. But anyway, here's a warning. Do not ever use footprint spells or unusual effects in... Oh fuck. You know what. Oh fuck. Well, whatever. We're fucking screwed. Xenomorphs. Anyway, let's go to the next effect. Hey, this is nuts and bolts. It's a horrible effect, even with any color, possibly. It's possibly the worst. Like I always yeah. say, it's my worst effect. So anyway, nothing so special about nuts and bolts, unless if, you're, if you use it with test coil, or a few other good effects that go with it. I don't recommend using nuts and bolts, unless it's not worth. It should be like worth five keys, come on. Unless if it's a nuts and bolts coffin kit, troll face, or anything. I reckon this should be worth like five keys because it's a single class, the crappest effect, and it's horribly ugly. Anyway, next effect. Bubbling! Bubbling looks kind of bad on this hat. Unless if you turn the hat into, uh, I guess, uh, uh, I guess if you have like a soapy effect, which does not exist. Or you can use purple energy, I guess that would look good. Uh, anyway. Alrighty. Next hat. Oh hey, this is one of the great effects. Cauldron bubbling. The greatest bubbling effect. Goes so well. And they got, um, just... Whoever got this first had a good idea, like a good idea of what colour to paint it. And the people say this is the horrible green colour. This green colour. But I kind of like it like this. It's beautiful. Perfection. Mwah. Perfect. I'd pick a hat like this. If I was you guys. If you're a spy main, of course. But I'm sure most of you are like, um... Uh, use all class. So anyway, next hat.
Oh, yep. Now, this goes well with his hat. If you got a certain color, it does go pretty well. It looks quite nice with this color, but I reckon it go better with other colors. So, anyway, Searing Plasma, lovely effect. Anyway, next one. Yet again, right idea with the Disco Beatdown color. Um, color for the hat for the Disco Beatdown. There's two good colors with Disco Beatdown. It's it's either um white or black. Now those two go so well with Disco Beatdown. And I reckon in general this looks good by itself. Don't even think you can need to paint it to make it look good. That's how good Disco Beatdown is. So anyway, next hat. Oh, oh, oh. oh this one. Another interesting one of my favourite ones on these cats actually hat. Um I would have a lovely triple effect, which I cannot do. But anyway, this looks brilliant with this hat. Trust me. I just pick it. Yeah, ten out of ten. Bevan Disco Beatdown too. Gives it the hauntedness. Anyway, next hat. <laughs> now this one. Oh, this one had a spell added to it. A lovely spell. Freaking goes well with all my sets. Just the effect that doesn't go well. We're not talking about spells here. Actually, I am, but I want to talk about the effect. It's horrible, but the thing that makes this hat good is the spells. But we're not focusing on the spells. This is, it's, I have two, I think, is this a scissor staining spell? No, it's a pigment. And I also have another, oh wait, that's scissor staining. Oh, right, right, right. Um, do you guess, I guess it's, nice. Anyway, next effect. Ooh, -hoo. Frostbite doesn't go well with this hat, but I love Frostbite in general. I could I could think of something. It is an overpowering effect. Should be one of the best. But this is, ain't the right hat for it. So, I'm not going to give it my full, say it's my fully the best one. But I love the effect in general. So, anyway. I recommend you to get it anyway. But it's not going to go the best with this hat. I would reckon it would go 10,000 times better with other hats. So anyway, next hat. Oh, Haunted Ghosts. A great effect. Great choice. You know what? I may even think this may be the best effect on this hat so far. <laughs> it makes everything. Plus, the hat ma matches with my cape. So when you get this hat, I recommend get the cape as well as the shirt I'm wearing. It looks good and everything. Gives it the the um the um good taste it deserves. So anyway, next hat. Alrighty, um, time warp. Ooh, that uh, that is a tough one to decide between Ghost and this. I would say the same. <laughs> it does look the same. Got to give it that. Anyway, next unusual. Alright, let's see, uh, we're going to go to a different uh, server, because Slender Fortress people keep on dying, so I have to always be in, and I'm seems I'm always the one to survive. Here's Mass Flies! <laughs> Shockingly, it looks alright. <laughs> Much better than fucking nuts and bolts, of course. But it is a horrible effect in general. So, uh, next hat. Hearts, oh boy. Quite literally a popular effect. And I'm, I'm not sure this hat is popular. But I'm saying it will look good. Just need a fountain, like a fountain of delight. Um... Unusual Torn will go so well, or a Cloud9 um, Phantom Party goes so well, this hat. I, I I just recommend you to get that if this ever comes for sale in trades or community markets 
or like always you can try and unbox which is um very fucking rare <laughs> don't try that <laughs> all right next hat oh what happened to the lantern all right where's flaming lantern well, this one it looks like it's been a glitched effect. So let me just try and do the high five tour until it becomes close enough. There we go. Flaming Lantern. Not the right hat for it. To tell you the truth, I only wish there was an unusual pumpkin head with this effect. And I just, I'll just say, I just call that a god tier. If there was. It would definitely be got here. There would be probably only one fucking existence if it existed. But if there was one of those in existence, I would want one in this effect. And yeah. Next hat. It's another strong effect, purple energy. It's a very strong effect. Does have its lovely perfections. I reckon this will look good with circling hearts, but you can't put the two Billy Cox together unless if you disconnect your internet and put the two on then reconnect it which of course you just don't you it's so annoying once you go into like a spawn station because it'll get rid of that other one it'll reset your loadout and uh, yeah it's very fucking annoying you don't want to pick up ammo if you want to be that kind of person but anyway next effect uh, weirdly it's a cloud nine like i said it goes well circling hearts you don't want to do the internet connection if you got both circling hearts and freaking um, Cloud9. Well, anyway, it is a lovely effect. Well, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing with my knife. That's, that's, that's not how to hold a knife. His fingers through the knife. He's a ghost. That shocks me. Anyway. That is the, it for the, the effects of Billy Cox, but I will check if there's one more. Because the ne they're not necessarily in order. They're, just because they're all together doesn't mean they're all in order. So let me think. Um, wait. Oh, <laughs> I got confused with that with Billy Cox. The fuck? Why isn't Billy Cock an all class anyway? Because this is a modest pile of a hat. Looks exactly like Billy Cox, except it's a little bit lighter. Just, just compare the difference between the two. The only reason why the other one's better than Billy Cox is because it's all class, and this one's for spy. What kind of load of shit is that? Well, anyway, I have to end this episode here. So this has been Darchin Gaming. Please rate, comment, subscribe. I hope you enjoy um, this episode. And before I actually end it, I'm going to turn it to the loadout of the day. Let's just go. Now this is is uh, quite a... I believe I have seen something like this before. But it does have a time warp, a terawatt. And if I could get the ace high since it's fucking up with me. Oh, there we go. It looks quite nice. But, you know, I, I'm not a triple effect fan, so I usually go with doubles or singles, but sometimes I go with triples, like my Pyro and Heavy, but that's only because they have shirt unusuals, well, Pyro has a coffee case unusual, but anyway, I gotta end this episode here, so peace. Oh, mama, look at these, hot effects. Now what you know, we're gonna do few hot effects, so let's go Jeez. Now first of all